Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for some quick thoughts on the Turkey Tom response. Now, I'm going to be a narcissist real quick and say I'm going to talk about myself for 10 seconds, so please do stand by first, sub to the channel, if you like the whatever I contribute, the goofiness, the dumbness, whatever it might be. And like the video, spam like because chances are limited at it, you know, you know how it works, you know, help me out, help me out. And, well, notifications, uh, what do YouTubers say? I, I know what I'm gonna say, high five. Well, anyway, I watched Tom's response, right, I watched it, it was an interesting response. He covered all his tracks, or at least attempted to be. Now, the commentary community is saying how it is a masterpiece and how... He covered and, and it was really good, or at least Bo Black said it blatantly, so I, I don't know. But then they'll throw the whole, Bo Black doesn't speak for us unless we say he speaks for us at a convenient time. You know, so there's that. I, personally, I think Tom's apology, or it wasn't even an apology, I don't, I can't even, see that's the problem because the internet deals with absolutes. I know Diorio wants to try to downplay whether or not the internet deals in absolutes, but come on dude, you were in IBS, right? You know that the absolutes are very, very, the majority of the internet. It embodies the majority of the internet, right? We know that the majority of the internet deals in absolutes. Given how this is the case, it's no wonder Tom is getting ratioed right now. See. I think what it is, if he would have doubled down, and I know this is bizarre, but if he would have doubled down, he would have not been ratioed. And here's why. Because since the majority deals in absolutes, and Tom's apology is is just kind of saying, well, I was right about this, but, you know, I will say that I was wrong about this. After you made such a strong video, after you made such a strong video with the Google Doc, practically definitively saying <laughs> even though i'm sorry you didn't say this right you want to rephrase and reiterate that every fucking time you can but even if you didn't state it that's how it came off thomas that's how you it came off and that's how people took it and they took it as an absolute and because it was such a strong push right you know that's that's why you're taking a hit right now because you you came off so strongly or you pushed this video out so strongly or maybe maybe if you don't want to take responsibility for that either maybe the public your commentary pals pushed it out so strongly right and 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 then you couldn't follow up and and then it just you went quiet completely quiet right and and you know i'm still gonna call it damage control right I, I don't trust anybody in that networking circle, right? Um, Tommy Calzone can call it a fallacy. I don't fucking care, mate. I I don't have to trust your word that you because just because the Orioles a little critical on Tom and whatnot, right? I don't have to trust your word that you know that he he he's definitely not a biased party, you know. To to go ahead and and point at something Augie said, it's impossible to not. Uh, be biased or bias is an impossibility. Yeah, shout out to my cute little pup Augie. He unblocked me uh, So there's that you know, that's one good thing out of this whole drama. I suppose <laughs> But anyway, that's pretty much how it stands Turkey Tom looked weak in his response You know the the people that aren't mature ironically enough like Tommy Calzone who makes shit up about me on the spot will go ahead and praise this video of Tom and say that it was it was a masterpiece that he handled this like an intellectual or whatever the fuck right uh, and then he'll criticize it and then and, and then he'll be like well I criticized it so I didn't say that specifically I only implied it yeah yeah Tommy calm down old man I know you're getting senile uh, you couldn't even remember a question you asked me a minute ago on your stream. So calm down. Sit down, you big girl. It's okay. It's okay. I'll get to you. But yeah, Tom's response really made him optic-wise come out as weak. One thing that I, I believe is the case, and I heard this around, is that it seems like Tom wants to try to persuade Pyro's fans or even the Redditors or whoever, whatever have you, to see things in his direction or his way and be like, okay, there's a possibility, but that's not going to work. And, you know, this is one of the things Keemstar actually said, and this is why Keemstar is the Don, for all intents and purposes. I know as silly as it might be, right? 
but you guys love some silliness, so don't act like you don't. For all intents and purposes, for the silly purposes of uh, painting a good picture, right? <laughs> Keemstar is the Don, right? This is why he's the Don. He's been through it, right? We have acknowledgement that no matter what happens, Keem will never be cancelled. Keem has those high connections which he was bragging about when he called out Diesel Patches, right? He's in bigger loops than you, that's what he said, word for word. So, yeah, Keem is the Don. And the reason, one of the main reasons he is currently the Don, though still despised by many, because for the most part, Keem doesn't really, you know, he more, more so than not doubles down on claims, which again, kind of scummy, but at the same time, I'm just like, let me rephrase that, it's not kind of, it's totally scummy, but at the same time, it keeps that audience with the perception that this is a leader, and he is so powerful, and he won't, you know, backtrack the moment he gets a little bit of flack. So that's the difference between Tom and Akeem Star response, right? Tom came off weak, therefore he got ratioed. That's what I'm, I'm guessing, and that's how it looks like to me. I'll expand on what Tom said on a later date. Again, I want to try to edit my hardest for you guys. Try it. I'm going to try it. But as it stands, uh, Tom definitely doesn't look like he won the Optic War at all. He is going to need his friends to continue to push the message out there that he is a smart person and that he won the Optic War or that you know he should have done this or that he's a good person or whatever. They're going to have to continue to do that, you know, from my observation, right? And that's about it. That's about it for the quick thoughts, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section and yada, yada, yada. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the low effort con content. It's like it's like Chinese food, okay? It's, it's like McDonald's. We all like it, but it's cheap and it's easy to digest, like my content. So if you like that, share the video, like the video. If you are the Tommy Calzone fanboy, dislike the video too. You know, that works. Uh, you know, whatever floats your boat. And uh, until next time, guys, love y'all, notice y'all. High five. Catch you in the next one.